Hello YouTube, it's Ellsworth A101, and the newest vertical docking station from Henge Docks has finally arrived, and I'm pretty excited. This video is going to be my unbox, setup, and review. To be specific, this model is for the 15-inch MacBook Pro Retina, and it is the metal edition. Let's get started. Okay, so I haven't even taken it out of the cardboard shipping box, so I'm going to go ahead and take it out now. On the top here we have our shipping invoice. A little bit of paper packing for shipping. And we have a very good looking box. On one side they show a pretty cool setup for an entertainment system. Nice little diagram uh, for setup. And then another cool uh, stock photo with two uh, Apple Thunderbolt displays. Okay, one of the first things I noticed is they use really high quality packaging. Kudos to Henge Docs because no one wants to open up their latest tech gadget wrapped in duct tape and newspaper. First thing we have here is the user guide. And now we have our actual dock. The finish is really good and matches perfectly with the rest of my Apple products. If you tip it over to its side, you'll see all the cables pre-installed, bundled nicely. I'm going to go ahead and take a second and remove all these twisty ties. Originally, I was concerned of the quality of the cables I was going to find pre-installed in the dock. I was happy to be surprised with cables that were of high quality and definitely long enough to be used on a desk or entertainment center. Okay, so it came with a couple uh, different sleeves for MagSafe adapters. I'm going to go ahead and end up using adapter D. We also came with a couple uh, screws for changing out the display ports with Thunderbolt cables. To begin installation, the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the hex key. I had a little bit of trouble with mine and ended up using a screwdriver to pry it out. Now peel the tape off the hex screw and use your hex key to loosen this off or completely remove it. Slide the sleeve over your MagSafe power adapter. and slide it into the power port. It's kind of hard to tell how far you need to put this connector in, but I inserted mine until the sleeve was flush with the inside of the dock. Now I can go ahead and tighten the screw back down to hold the power connector. Now you can see everything lines up nicely and we're ready for our next step, which is cable organizing. The back of the docking station comes with some really nice slots and grooves which help you keep the rear of it organized. I'm going to go ahead and test fit my laptop in it now before I start connecting things. It fits great and you'll hear a distinctive noise when it's fully connected. Removing it from the dock isn't as difficult as most people have said. I just put one hand on the dock and grab the laptop off with the other. Now that we have the hinge dock all connected, let's go ahead and test it out. Okay. Sweet. I would say setup was pretty easy, definitely not one of the hardest things I've done. And it looks pretty good on the desk. After using the docking station for a whole day, I can already say that I definitely want to buy another one. It really makes the docking process a lot more transparent and less time consuming. I was a little weary at first about buying it because friends in the past have told me they didn't like their plastic builds before or that their old connector styles were kind of weird but I definitely recommend this model. I used to kind of shy away from working at my desk 
because it just took too long to find cords and connect my super drive or my displays and charger, but now all you have to do is drop your laptop in the docking station and you're good to go. Some people have previously told me that running your MacBook in clamshell mode can cause it to overheat. I'm pretty sure this is a rumor that originated with outdated MacBooks because I can honestly say I haven't heard my fan rev up once. And this is with doing things like rendering or compiling code, so I'm sure this is fine for the everyday user. They also have some pretty good ventilation on the back, so there's nothing to worry about. A couple of small things I really like about the way this laptop and docking station work together are that you have an SD card slot and another USB connector readily available. This is great for things like connecting a flash drive or transferring photos off your camera uh, because you don't have to take it out of clamshell mode or have a USB hub in the back. So if you've been considering purchasing this dock, I say definitely go for it. Get the metal edition. You won't regret it. I know I didn't. Thanks for watching my video, and I hope I've answered any questions you might have had. Please comment and subscribe.